Okay, now I'm going to show you uh, my script. It's a Python script and we go to miraculous.github.io slash python underscore for amc and from here This is a simple uh, HTML without any CSS or JavaScript. And here uh, at the top of the page, you can find the usual multiple choice and we are going to see today. So just press on it. And if it uh, prompts to agree or disagree with the download, just say keep. Uh, well, um, this is the internal security check from uh, Google Chrome and it sees that it's a bit of uh, code so it's a script and to prevent harmful behavior of the scripts it automatically uh, blocks some of them so you just press skip and here is also the open question exam uh, script just skip it also and the third link is to the repository so if you want to contribute to the development of it, you can do it from here. So there are different courses on GitHub, on YouTube, so you can go through it and see how it looks. For now, we are done with this uh, repository. So it's done, and now we can start with the script itself. So I'm going to make it a little bigger. So everything starts with the imports. So we have system import, OS path, time, and the communication with the internet uh, libraries. So I have my log uh, file in the end of the execution of this script. So anything else here? Uh, well, there are a bunch of inputs. So like copy number, date of taste, exam name, student ID number, and uh, also the prompt to say if there will be any multiple correct choice answers. So uh, it also goes through some checks and through the modifications of the date, for example. And after that, it opens the file. So it is hard coded here. I didn't, I didn't want to make it through the input so you will need to save the uh, pre-processed questions into this qs.txt file and when you save it you need to save it in the utf8 uh, or unicode encoding so after that it processes this file everything that is within this file. It makes some logs in the log file. It also checks the prohibited sim uh, symbols for uh, LaTeX markup language. And I can see that it actually is wrong here. Just a second. Text register. Okay, it's fine now. So probably the first time I was using it, it replaced it by itself. So because uh, in Python, you cannot type just one backslash. Okay, so next uh, we, we are having this for loop for prohibited symbols. Then we declare our functions. And here we have the beginning or the header of our uh, LaTeX file. So again, it's declaring of the article type, then the packages that we're going to use. So as you can see here, the graphics uh, path will be in the same folder as your uh, source file for auto multiple choice program. So you need to put uh, all images into this uh, into the same folder. 
Okay, so by default we have a student's name part. It's not the name field because name field will be on the separate sheet. So this is just to identify students' work after you remove the uh, answer sheet. So when uh, it says that the group starts, we are having our questions loop. So uh, in this particular case, our script goes through the whole um, contents of the file qs.txt and processes them, compiling all of the stuff within this qs.txt file into a readable LaTeX uh, format. And then we have the footer of our LaTeX source file. So here you can see these uh, copies and it will insert the number of copies that you enter uh, in the previous inputs. It also inserts a uh, name of the exam, the date of the exam, and if needed, the uh, explanation for multiple correct choice answers. So now it inserts the, uh, the group, which is called general group. So here you can see the student ID number and student ID number will be encoded within this A2 uh, form. A2, I guess it's from French again, so ATDN. And we have our student ID number there. In Nazarbayev University, we have nine. So just um, type in nine uh, whenever you are asked for the ID number. Also, we have the name field here. So this name field will be shown uh, in the end of your marking uh, when you have uh, the ultimate multiple choice program uh, captured all the, all the data and now you need to reassign uh, all the students who didn't include their student ID numbers uh, in a correct way. So you will identify them by this name field. So that's why we need it on the separate answer sheet. Okay, so in the end we have our form ending. So all the boxes for separate answer sheet will be here. Then we close it with a double uh, clear your page. So this tag actually makes it easier for you to manage the separate answer sheet. So you can remove it easily because the, as the other side of it will be clear. After that, the script is going to download the needed PNG file. So it will uh, go right here. So as you can see, this tag includes the graphics and it is going to include the wrong correct PNG. Uh, if the, there is no wrong correct PNG file uh, in the same folder as your source file for auto multiple choice. It is going to raise an issue. And in the next sessions, I will uh, show you how it looks and why it's needed. It's just an explanation of students because they might mess up with the filling of the uh, boxes. And uh, if it couldn't uh, download the image, it is going to print it out in the terminal or command line um, manager that it couldn't so it will give you the website where you can download it freely uh, it's on my uh, github repository so that's that's all for the script itself okay see you